guys, so just before we get into the video, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my channel memberships. Um, I recently did some changes so that there is a single tier for $2.99 a month and you guys will get all of the perks that come with my channel membership including um, custom uh, emojis, um, members only live streams, member only videos, all of that kind of stuff and it's all on the first, the, the single tier. Um, and it is $2.99 a month. I'm really hoping that this will encourage some new members. Um, so if you guys are interested in supporting my channel, please go check it out. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new, uh, my name is Adrian, and Kiwi is my parrot. Um, so this video is part of a series called Stitch of the Week. And what I do for these videos, or what I've been doing for these videos, is um, I show you guys how to do a stitch out of this book called the New Crochet Stitch Dictionary. Here is what it looks like. Here's the authors down here. Um, there are 440 different patterns in this book. Um, and I am working my way through this book. Um, right now, uh, this week is stitch number four. I'm still in the basic uh, variations of basic stitches. Um, so this week, we are going to be doing uh, what they call the cord look texture. Um, a lot of these stitches I'm not familiar with, um, so it's a learning process for me too. Um, anyways, I am going to turn the camera around and we will get started on, on this week's Stitch of the Week. Alright guys, so this week I am using just a bit of green scrap yarn. Um, it is left over from an alien that I made. Um, it is Sheep G's Katana um, color number 28. Um, let me see, can I get this to focus a little better? 100% mercerized cotton. Um, and the recommended hook is a 3.5 millimeter. If anybody's interested in this yarn, that is the information on it. Um, and then I'm also using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, this one was hand sculpted by uh, someone on Etsy. Um, I've been collecting the hooks that she makes for some time now. They usually come with a matching stitch marker, but I've been taking mine off recently um, just to keep them from clanging around on the back. You can see like the black, that's from where the stitch marker was on there. But it's a good way to, uh, it's, it's a totally genius way to keep from losing your stitch markers. Anyways, so like I said in the intro, today's stitch is the cord look texture and for this um, for this stitch you can chain any number of stitches that you want plus one um, as per usual I'm gonna go ahead and chain 11 so one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And we are going to single crochet across so that we will have a total of ten stitches. One. Well, it helps if I can keep my hook in the loop. Two, three, four, five, six, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 is our last stitch, our last single crochet. So it's gonna look like this. Um, and then you're going to chain up one and turn your work. Now this stitch is a little bit different from ones that I've done before, but keeping your working yarn back here, you are going to insert your hook from back to front just like that and you want this working um, yarn behind your crochet hook and then you're going to grab your yarn pull it through oops From back to front, grab your yarn and pull it through all three of those loops on your hook. Now what that does is it causes the stitch to be a little bit twisted. Um, texture wise, you do have a little bit of a bump there. Um, so I'll show you again. We'll do a couple of these across. Oop, that's not the right way. You've got to go from back to front. Remember, back to front. <laughs> I think this was a good yarn choice for this stitch because I think that if I had chosen something like acrylic or wool, I probably would be splitting the yarn and it would just be all over the place. But it's a pretty simple stitch and it gives you a little bit of a texture. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is twisted a little bit along this edge here. Um, I have not seen a pattern or anyone use this stitch before. Um, I don't know how popular it is. Um, but I do think it's pretty cool. As far as a you know, variation on the slip stitch goes. So last stitch here. Just like that. So that's what it's looking like after the first row. So we're going to go ahead and chain up one and then we're going to turn and again we are going to go into the uh, stitch from the back keeping that working yarn behind the hook from the back and then we're going to slip stitch through all three loops I think I'm getting the hang of it. I feel like I'm going a little bit faster. All right, so that's the stitch. I am going to work this up um, a few more rows so that you guys can see what a swatch 
of this um, stitch would look like, like a full one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera um, just to save you guys some time because like I said it is a very simple stitch but I would like for you guys to see what the finished pro product will look like after you know maybe five or six rows something of that nature. Alright guys so I'll be real honest I got really frustrated with this particular slip stitch variation. Um, as y'all well know by now, I have issues keeping proper tension when making slip stitches. But, um, so this is what my little swatch looks like. I hope you guys can see it. It's kind of curling at the edges. Um, that's what it looks like. That's the other side. I don't know. I don't care for this stitch um, I will take a picture and put it in my in my thumb thumbnail hopefully you guys will be able to see it a little better um, but yeah uh, that is the stitch tutorial of the week I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I'm never gonna use that stitch <laughs> and um, you know I hope you guys come back for next week's stitch of the week see y'all later bye Thank you.